In fact, while we're at it, we're gonna... Oscar, stop chewing on me. Okay, goats. You need to be on your best behavior. No getting underfoot. I am excited to be getting two new buildings for our goats, but I think I'm even happier about finally getting the permanent fencing in place for our does. The goats have been escaping this fence recently. They don't usually go very far, but they can cause problems. This is a fern they've nibbled down to the ground. I think it actually might survive. I think indigo ate some of the elderberries from this plant. It's not good for goats, and she was really quite sick for about a day and a half. On another recent escape, our goats were all the way out here on the side of the road, eating leaves in the ditch. I happened to be out in the yard at the time, but I just didn't see them come out here. I didn't notice it until a truck had to slow down, which scared the goats all the way back up our driveway, fortunately. I like unique trees, and the way this maple is growing is pretty unique. I really like how this tree kind of curves and reaches around. It's like, I don't know, it's like it's kind of maybe hugging the back part of this goat pin. But it's gonna be right in the way of our permanent fencing, so it has to go. Isn't that right, Sienna? This cherry tree is also in the way but it's not as hard for me to lose this one. To me, this one just kind of looks like it's leaning too much towards the house. They're both in the way, so they both have to go. We really like the look of this fence around our bucks. So we're gonna use the same kind of fence posts for the does fence. The same folks at Northwest Landscape Care who've helped us out in the past are gonna be putting up the fence for us. We're providing the materials and just paying for their time. We still have about a week to go before the fence will be put up, but I wanted to have these posts here and ready to go. Unloading this truck will be a pretty big job. Stay down. Hello, Oscar. Blue. 
You really only need the posts and these cross braces in the corners and on either side of gates. T-posts are sufficient for the straight runs in between, but <clears throat> we do like the look and sturdiness of them. So the whole new fence is gonna be constructed with them. In fact, while we're at it, we're gonna... <clears throat> Oscar, stop chewing on me. In fact, while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and have them install posts in the gaps around our buck enclosure too. Both of our goat enclosures aren't really very large. So even though going with an all post construction will cost more, it won't be prohibitively more expensive. I wish I had used those round posts when I built this gate. I built it at the same time as I was doing the privacy fence and just used the same 4x4 pressure treated lumber that I bought for it. With round posts, you can angle the fence in any direction you want. Here, we'll have to cut some special angles to make it work. There will be three more gates in this fence. One of them will lead right through here, heading into the area with the new goat shed. Another one will open in front of the door leading into the goat feed storage area of that new goat shed. The last gate will be somewhere along this stretch, depending on how the post placement works out. That'll give us closer access to this feed storage and supply area. Some of the gravel that was here, at least the gravel that I could get out cleanly enough, I've saved in buckets. For cementing the new posts in place. Loading the truck was easier than unloading it. I had a guy at Wilco to help, and he put the posts a few at a time on a forklift so we could just slide them into the back. As I went along, I set a few aside that had one end noticeably worse than the rest to use later as cut down shorter pieces.
It's been more than a week since I unloaded those posts for the goat fence. We still don't have the goat structures. They were delayed, but that worked out pretty well for me. It gave me time to amend the soil for this new flower bed the way I really wanted to. Remember, we can't put in the fencing until we have the goat structures in place. That way we'll know exactly where the fencing needs to go. The folks at Northwest Landscape Care are on their way out here today, however, we're gonna do a little prep work for the fencing. This stump probably wasn't gonna be in the way for our shed delivery, but it will be right in the way for when we wanna put in the fencing. So this is gonna have to go. We're gonna have the folks at Northwest Landscape Care grind this down for us. There's a few other smaller stumps we're gonna get rid of while we're at it out here as well, mostly just to avoid tripping hazards. This tree that for whatever reason, the goats still haven't killed yet, is leaning quite a bit towards the house and it would be a little tricky for me to try and drop on my own without hitting the house. So I think I'll have them drop that for us too and then we'll just have them get rid of that stump while they're at it. Okay, goats. You need to be on your best behavior. No getting underfoot. Yeah, if, you, if it's in your way, we can get rid of it. Sure. Thank you. Rogue, you would be the first one over here, wouldn't you? Very good. 